Hey, welcome to How To In A Few. Today we're going to take a look at changing some lights on the front of the boat. These are navigation lights and uh, they've lasted a really long time. Pretty much everything else on the boat is LED already, but these, uh, like I said, lasted an unusually long time. Uh, but recently, when I did a little uh, test, uh, the green one, I believe, it's on the other side, is out. So rather than mess with a bulb, I uh, went on Amazon and can you believe they have the exact replacement style for 23 bucks even. I think it was 23 or 25 dollars. It's the exact replacement style, same whole pattern, except these are LED. And when I say exact, I mean <laughs> almost exact. But uh, definitely going to be an easy job to replace these and upgrade to the LEDs from the old incandescent ones. And these should uh, work good and give me a lot of bang for my buck. So let's go ahead and remove the old ones and see where we stand with the wiring. So my biggest fear here is that I'm not going to have enough wire. To, uh, to do the necessary work. So my hope is the installer that previously put these on left me enough room so far I'm not like All right, so. Oh wait, we're getting a little bit more. All right, so ideally I would have had a little more room so that I could clip these but I'm a little bit uh, anxious about clipping the old connectors off uh, simply due to the fact that if I lose these wires there will be no getting them back they will disappear into the hull um, I already checked into the anchor locker I can't reach them from there and I don't recall any, being able to reach any wires on the inside of the cabin up here so um, I'm gonna end up clipping them here and probably putting some shrink wrap over the old connectors and using some new connectors uh, to install the new light. All right, first thing I'm going to do is put me a little zip tie around this to kind of make sure I don't lose the wires. make it a little more difficult for them to fall in. I'm not going to be reusing these so I will just clip these off. As soon as I go get some better clippers. All right. Go ahead and strip these to get them ready. And so I don't forget, I'm gonna find me a piece of shrink wrap. Maybe that's big enough to cover both of these previous. Looks like we're going to have to do them individually. So 
So we'll shrink wrap each of these individually just to give them an extra layer of protection. Alright, one other thing that I'm going to do is I'm actually going to hook this up because with LEDs a lot of times they're directional and if you don't hook them up right they don't light up. And I can't even get them to stay together. So, I will have to go get some wire nuts just to temporarily hook this up. Alright, put some temporary wire nuts on there. I'm going to go ahead and turn on the battery and the navigation lights and see if we're getting uh, a light. All right, so <laughs> not as bright as I'd hope, but what do y'all think? Think I should switch the wires around? I think I'm gonna switch the wires around and see if I get a better effect. No effect switching them, so. We have them correct. Could be brighter, but I'm assuming that they're bright enough. I'm gonna kill the power. All right, now I'm gonna share with you a little secret. This is, I got this on Amazon, Kujekt. I uh, never heard of it, but it's 120 pieces heat shrink wire connectors. Here's the cool thing about these wire connectors. There's low temperature solder in the middle of them. So unlike a typical uh, shrink wrap like these that just shrinks around a connection you made, this one actually has solder in the middle. So when I put these two wires toward the middle and hit it with a heat gun, not only will the plastic shrink, to protect the wire but the solder will melt and provide uh, a practically perfect electrical connection between the two wires pretty cool stuff all right so here's a little better view not gonna be able to see my heat gun per se but we're gonna use the heat gun to go ahead and hit those and I'm probably gonna start from the behind it and I'm focusing on hitting the center where the solder is I'm, I know the plastic will melt I just have to be sure that the solder melts So, fairly certain we've got good contact. We've got glue portions uh, making the contact. The rubber portions have shrunk, and I did witness the solder in both uh, liquefy. We'll get that a couple minutes to cool off, then we'll take care of these other shrink wraps, and we should be good to go. In fact, I'm gonna go ahead and hit the uh, 
test the power again just to make sure we've got an electrical connection. All right, so here we go. Wire connection is done up there. The power is on. I'm going to go ahead and shrink those other connectors. So I'm not sure that I actually got a good shrink around it, but for what it's worth, it's better than it was before. At this point, I don't have any fear. I can allow this to sink back. All right, side number one done. Here's another view from a little further away. It's hard to really tell how bright that's gonna be at night. Presumably it should be at least as bright as uh, the incandescents that were in there, which were pretty dull. But we'll try, out, try it out at night tonight and see how bright they are. All right, this side of the boat's in direct sunlight. So you're going to hear significantly less talking. Side significantly brighter. <laughs> Don't like that.
reason I chose to actually reuse the old screws is simply because these are the ones that were in the hull. So I avoid any kind of altercation to the holes in the hull. It's not really that big of a deal, but Alright, so there we have a nice quick video on uh, upgrading navigational lights to LED on a boat. Uh, hopefully there's all different styles of these available. So uh, you should be able to find the ones that are on your boat or at least something similar that will work. I am keeping the old ones. Um, the old ones had a light socket in so I could have just bought some LED light bulbs and plugged them in there but for the $23 or something that it was for the entire kit um, I decided just to go this way downside is these LEDs are built into the light fixture so uh, when eventually these LEDs go out they will uh, it won't just be uh, a, a simple replacement bulb I'll have to either purchase these again if they're still available or retrofit my old ones or just make uh, an entire change uh, to a different set but for the meantime we are now LED uh, both lights working again minimal draw on power uh, typically you don't you only have the navigation lights on while the motor is running so that's not really an issue but still it's nice to have LED lights um, uh, and hopefully they'll last long and give us a lot of fun usage all right, thumbs up, go a long way to help out me and other YouTubers. You can subscribe, that helps too. Keeps us making videos like this. I sure do appreciate you watching it uh, to the end, and I'll see you next time.